This video is a preview from an interview I did with lottery winner Nick Rocco, who won $1 million in the Massachusetts State Lottery. Are you listening? So this video is a preview of my interview with lottery winner Nick Rocco, who won $1 million in the Massachusetts State Lottery. My name is Timothy Schultz. I actually am a Powerball winner. In 1999, I won the Powerball before going back to study film and journalism. And I'm now combining my experience with my desire to meet and interview other lottery winners. Before I get to the highlights in this interview, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do weekly how-to videos, vlogs, and interviews with some of the most compelling people I can find having to do with film, fortune, and fame. And that includes other lottery winners. But right now, let's get to highlights from the interview with lottery winner Nick Rocco. So with this lottery win, so this was... Was this October of 2018? Yeah, yeah, okay. so almost a almost a year now. Wow, I mean that's incredible. Like one million dollars on a scratch ticket. I mean that doesn't happen to very many people. How how <laughs> did it, how did it feel? Well, I gamble a lot, so I've never had a win like this. But um, I scratched it at about 11 o'clock at night. Um, my my fiance was sleeping on the couch. The baby was just got put to bed, and I woke her up, and I was like, "Look at this thing!" I was like. I was like, is this real? <laughs> you know, I said one mil right on the bottom. It was part of the bonus scheme. So it was, uh, it said win underneath it. So I didn't have to like verify the numbers or check the numbers or anything. So I knew it. I knew right away that I was a winner. Wow. Did you get any sleep that night? I did go to sleep. I went to work the next morning. <laughs> I didn't cash it for about a week after that. Why? Uh, I just, I went to work. I, I worked Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday the lottery's closed. So I went, uh, I went on my day off on Tuesday. Oh my gosh! And you knew definitively, looking at it, that that was a. Did, was there any spot in your mind that questioned, "Is this really real?" Or did you know it was just? No, I you? knew. Okay. Um, and I, I definitely have luck with gambling. So when I when I when Jenna saw it, like she knew it was real right away. Like just just the luck that I have when it comes to that stuff. Um, it it seems to fall my way. So. <laughs> So how did people react when you told them that you won? Well, I didn't I didn't really tell anybody for the first like two weeks, just my like immediate family and stuff. And then um, my buddy sent me a picture on Instagram from Channel Seven. It was like, dude, he was like, you didn't he's like, you didn't tell me this. And uh, it got out because um, the mass lottery website, they post all the winners. And then um, the same store that I bought my ticket from. They had sold another million dollar winner two weeks later, so then then I got like interviewed on the news, um, and then that's when like a couple months later uh, they reached out to me about my lottery dream home, and then um, but I mean there were articles written up about me like you know from from the town I grew up in to the town I live in now, um, almost you know I was like a little celebrity in the town I live in now when my when my fiance goes out places that she gets asked all the time oh were you guys on that show. And, uh, is that right? So we, I mean, we oh. like it. It's 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 nice, but um, where we live, like we don't we didn't grow up here, so we don't really know one, know anybody around here. Um, but having the kids, it definitely you know you start meeting more people. But this was a uh, this helped. <laughs> so for the people out there that are watching this that play the lottery, what advice would you give to them? Keep playing, because. If I listened to my fiance when she told me I was crazy coming home with, you know, three hundred dollars worth of tickets, that night she was taking a nap and I said, I'm going to buy scratch tickets. She's like, Again? And I came home with a million dollar ticket. So now imagine if I you know, if I stopped playing for whatever reason, I wouldn't be in the situation I am today. You know, um, even like mother winning the million dollar ticket, I think it was one in two hundred and sixty six thousandths of a chance to hit it, like one in every so many. And wow. You know, it's it's just being at the right place in the right time, and you got to buy them, you know? Yeah, right. That's the thing. Do you think this was just mere luck, or do you think it was, like, meant to happen? I honestly think it was meant to happen. And why? Be because... So if you want to watch this interview in its entirety, I will put a link below for that. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new because I do weekly how-to videos, vlogs, and interviews with some of the most fascinating people I can find, including other 
lottery winners. Let me know in the comments what other lottery winners out there would you like to see me interview. I love checking out your comments. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Hey.